Welcome to Fantasy Grounds Quick. In this video, we'll learn about extensions. A good way to think of extensions is like mods for a video game. They are separate add-ons that can alter the mechanics and look of your Fantasy Grounds. There's a ton of extensions people have made for Fantasy Grounds Unity. While you can create your own custom extensions, there are plenty of free extensions online. To look through some of the community-made extensions, you can go to the Fantasy Grounds website, then navigate to the Forge. Let's find an extension we want and download it. Once an item has been added to our inventory, all we need to do is update our Fantasy Grounds and it will appear in the extensions list. Let's select the extension and launch our game. Once you're in your campaign, a message will appear in chat showing all the extensions you have enabled. As you can see, I have a lot of extensions loaded. Let's make sure we can see our new extension. There it is. And in our sidebar under the tools folder, we now have a new button. Let's test it out. If you ever want to remove an extension, just go back to the Fantasy Grounds website, go into your inventory, and then remove the extension that you don't want. You can also add extensions by dropping them into the extensions folder in your Fantasy Grounds game directory. Let's now take a look at some of my favorite extensions that Fantasy Grounds has to offer. For each of the extensions, I've placed a link in the description of this video for where to find them. First off, we have the Token Height Indication feature. Simply put, this allows you to track the height of a creature on a combat map. This is especially useful for creatures that can fly, such as dragons. To add a height indicator to a token, first put your mouse over the token. Hold the Alt key, then use the scroll wheel to set the height. Now, whenever you're targeting a creature, it uses the height to calculate how far away it is. Next is the 5v undo last heal slash damage extension. With this extension, you can quickly undo the last damage applied in combat. On the combat tracker, right click a creature that you want to undo damage for. Then select the new undo button. This will even remove the creature conditions applied by the last damage roll. Finally, we have the Windows Saver X2 extension. This is personally the most useful extension that I have found in the Forge community for Fantasy Grounds. With it, you can save the exact layout of your multiple windows that are opened in Fantasy Grounds. For example, let's create a new saved layout of these two windows. Simply type in chat forward slash WSX save and then the name of your layout. That way, even if you close out your windows or they get moved around, you can just type forward slash WSX load the name of your layout to restore them just how you save them. If you want, you can add these commands to your hotbar for easy access to all of your loadouts. Just type the command you want into chat, then drag it into a hotbar box. Now, whenever you want to load a saved layout, you can just click on the hotbar. As you can see, I've already added multiple other layouts. Those are all the extensions I will cover in this video. I hope this serves as a good introduction to the modding scene in the Fantasy Grounds community. Let me know in the comments what topics you'd like me to cover next. And thanks for watching.